Hey guys, it's Tony here. So look at this, Bitcoin is dumping and a lot of people are wondering, when should they invest? When is the perfect time to invest into Bitcoin? Because they want to get some gains, but they do not want to trade. So basically, they want to buy in Bitcoin at a good price. Now, maybe they thought that they're going to buy Bitcoin at a good price right over here. Maybe they thought they're going to buy Bitcoin at a good price over here, but we are still falling down. So the question is, when are we going to stop falling? Well, here is some major key points that you should follow to in order to figure out when is the best time that you should buy in i want to talk to you guys about all that and more in this video so let's get into it so there are some key indicators that is the best time to buy in inside of these indicators because they will give you massive gains let's just go on the chart right now it's a chart and it's called the blx chart now it has this indicator on it. it has these three bands the interesting thing is that every single time we're in this green band that is a really great time to buy so what can you learn when we're inside of the green band is a really great time to buy let me explain what happened basically every single time we have the cycle of bull market and bear market we start the green band and we go all the way to the red band and back down to the green band now we already did this right over here we started but we did not reach the red band the interesting thing is that look at this if you would have bought anywhere inside of this green band you would be in profit right now so let's just say you bought in right right when we came inside of it after this twenty thousand dollar dump of course first you would be losing like forty percent you might be tempted to sell but what I would do is I would actually buy some more. After that, we just went up. And you might be tempted to sell here. But no, I would stay until we actually tapped the red. I would, of course, take a little tiny bit of profit off maybe. But I would keep the majority until we actually tap the red band. Now, since we fell back down to green, I would have bought some more right here. And then we had this. This is a pandemic, but don't worry because we usually, practically always, we only did this two times in history of Bitcoin before breaking out of this green band to the downside. We always usually come back up, which is what I believe and what happened. So after that, you come back in, maybe you could have bought all the way here, and then you keep sometimes buying in, buying in, and by the time we leave the band, you would already be in a 286% profit. But that's not all. If you keep holding it all the way till, let's just say we go to 65,000, then you sell there, that's going to be a thousand percent. But if you're still holding it all the way till right now, you would be in a 786% profit and watching your price fall. You might be tempted to buy again. But if you know anything, you know you wait till the red band because look at this. If we go back to these tops, we always come up after the bull market. So let's just look over here. Let's just look at the first bull market that ever happened right over here. We started off in the green band. If you would have bought, you would have had this much percent till we went all the way to the top. A 5,000% pump. Now we went all the way to $31 and we tapped the top of the band and we come back down. Now somewhere inside of this top band, of course it was fast this time, but somewhere inside of this top band is a perfect time to sell. Because after that we come back down. A lot of people don't think that we're going to be going higher, but no. After that, we come back into the green band and anywhere inside of this green band, like I said, the whole entire time that we were right here, it was a perfect time to buy. And how many people missed it? a lot now after this you just wait you wait for us to get to the red band you're just holding after that we come to the red band you sell you would have waited till we come down back to down to the green band you buy in somewhere here and you wait you could wait through the whole entire rate over here we would have waited from january 15th all the way to january may 7 2017 you would have waited two years before we actually broke out of the band but by the time we did break out of the band you would already be in a 500 600 percent profit but you don't sell no you hold you hold all the way till we tapped the red band we went eight thousand percent that time and of course after that we dumped and if you want to you can even set a short trade over here but we dump all the way down to the band and now that was an 84 percent correction right over there but you could have bought in right over here at five thousand dollars instead of all the way down over here at three thousand dollars and you'd of course be like i said already losing forty percent then you come up don't be tempted to sell keep buying in while sometimes while we're inside of the band you would have a better average so it's going to be good and then you keep holding now right now it may seem really tempted to sell because we are falling but what's actually really important is where we're falling too because like i said we when we're inside of the band it's perfectly good to buy but there's another thing when you're tapping the band it is good time to buy so let's go back over here 
let's go back over here to this bull market. We were going up, we were going up, and it's a perfect time to buy right over here. We entered the band really quickly and then exited it. And of course, of course, it's not as much gain as buying in at the band, but it was a, a 970% profit, a thousand percent dollar profit. We almost reached the band here, but not quite. Right over here, we did the same exact thing. If you would have bought in when we had this band right over here, then you could have seen that you could have had a 3,000% profit. Now, could we be doing the same exact thing right now again? Because look at this, we tapped the band already. Could we be tapping again? Well, yes, because like I said, we have this descending triangle that I, that I talked about in my previous video, and we are breaking to the downside. And of course, it does look a little bit more like a channel like this, or maybe even a falling wedge, but this is still a bearish pattern and of course we might still be bouncing around if you count this as this um pattern but we could be still going down to about thirty nine thousand dollars why do i say thirty nine thousand i already explained this in my previous video but one more time quickly because it's the top of this band that's where i think we could be going any lower it's going to be inside of the band and we're going to be fall falling, but we're going to be inside of the band, so it's a great time to buy when we're inside of this band. Anytime we're inside of the band, it's a perfect time to buy, because what if you were right here? You have this small wick, this a whole, you had only one week to actually go into this band and come back out. You have one week to buy when in this band. Of course, you could buy a little bit higher, but the perfect time to buy is when we're inside of the green band. You could buy a little bit higher, but the perfect time to buy alone inside of the band. That could be the same thing that could happen right now. So that's why if you are an investor and you don't want to trade, you just want to buy in, and some people don't even sell. We come to this red top, we don't even sell. But if you are an investor that wants to sell and buy at specific price targets, but wait like a few years before selling and buying, buy when we're inside of this green band or tapping it like we did over here, and sell when we reach the red band. That will give you a lot of profit with minimal risk because... Like I said already, we have this band, and you know that this band rises continuously. So let's just say you buy in right over here, and we come down, we fall. This band, since it rises, the most we could fall down is to the bottom of the band. Of course, we had this COVID dump before, but we just crazily come back up. It's a pandemic. It's like the whole entire world is just crashing. But the most amount, let's just say it comes down to the green, but can't, and it, can't, it keeps falling. You're going to have a 30% loss. But what happens when we reach the bottom of the band? We're going to start heading up. And let's just say we start bouncing around inside this band. Well, sooner or later, you're going to hit the break-even point and start making profit. And that is going to be the perfect time to buy also. Because you could also start buying somewhere inside of here. So, whenever inside of the, we're inside of the green band, it's a perfect time to buy. And it's minimal risk because we're going to eventually come up to this level where you bought at. Because this band keeps rising. And so... You're going to be in profit even though you did not do anything and you bought in and we just dumped down. Because this band keeps rising and Bitcoin does not break down through the bottom of the band. So guys, minimal risk. If you are an investor and you do not want to trade but just hold long term, no risk, practically minimal risk, a lot of rewards for the risk that you have you should do this. Of course, this is just a recommendation. This is not financial advice. You should always do your research. This is personally what I would do if I was an investor. So that's what I think Bitcoin is doing. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't trade. Don't forget to click that post notification bell. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!